so in the last video we cover about the get request on our api and we are sending the data and we are receiving in this video we will focus on the post method okay so let's come here and i'll give this comment post method and the same structure we have to follow we have to define this app and we have to construct the api and you can see simply we're going to copy and paste same endpoint i'm going to give because nft is going to be the resource ultimate resource and here we have to follow the general convention request response and it's going to be an arrow functions and now we have to send the response back so we have simply console logout first okay so console logout the request dot body because in this will have all the data which user try to post okay so let's do one thing let's come down here duplicate it and remove this one request let's have a look at what we have exactly in this request because this request we're going to use a lot okay so let's come here save it and let's send the response and let's send this to post nft okay simple for the time being okay now let's come back to the postman and simply copy this copy this entire url and open this one and here you have to paste and make sure you have to change this method to post and now save this one okay and we'll call it let's say post in the same folder okay so here we have the get and post method now if we make the request let's bring this down and here we have to go into the body we have to select the row and here we're going to select this json okay because we want to write the data in the json format so that's that what we're going to do here we're going to write the data so we want to write is let's say come here let's get back to the data and let's copy the data from here okay simply so we're going to copy this part only and come here and make sure you have to give the data in the same format in double quotes if it's string make a double quote because this is how we pass the data in json so i believe that you guys are familiar that how json work okay so that's the id we have and that's the data simply remove that comma and now we can create the post method okay so let's come here and send the request and here you can see post nft the response we got back now if we come back in our code and if you scroll up the terminal and here you can see we have this exact data okay let's bring this down okay so here you can see no not this one where it's gone so let's close this one and let's simply come down here and first thing from where we are getting that logs so that's okay that's the post request okay so bring this down and here you can see here you can see here we got it okay so here you can see all these logs that's all log is coming from the request so this part okay so we have bunch of data here which we're going to use it okay so we have the read files we have this so all these data we have in the request and it's coming in the form of object so we can easily able to access that okay so that's the request we are getting whenever someone making a request okay now let's simply comment that and let's open the body so in that request object we have this body and this will contain the data okay so let's bring this up and let's scroll all the way down and make a request one more time it's successful and here you can see right now we are getting this undefined when we earlier when we log the request we get all the request log but when we try to access the request dot body we are getting undefined and can you guess why it's happening because here we have to use one express middleware which allow us to read the data from the user and write in our document okay so that's the middleware we're going to use okay so let's come up here here somehow we have imported this remove this one we don't need this one and here we're going to use that middleware so let's use it we'll take this app dot use and we'll call express dot json so this is a middleware function which we get from express so when we use this one in our code what will happen that whenever any data get passed we can easily able to access the data in the form of json okay so earlier we don't have this express json that's why we are getting undefined but now it will work so we're going to talk about middlewares a lot because this express api is entirely depends on the middleware okay so we have a separate section we have we are building separate tools as a middleware so that will come later okay so i just give you an overview that how middleware works okay so this is the middleware and now it will work okay so let's save it and if we come back to the postman if we make the request so it's successfully post nft and if we come back to the terminal here you can see we got all the data which we have sent okay so we have the id we have the name we have the duration and we have the max group size and that's and that's the data we are getting because express json okay 
so our post hook is also working fine and we can easily able to read the data now here we have this one okay now we have this one so you can see that every nft has its unique id if we want to create nft we have to assign a unique id to that so let's create that first okay so what we're going to do i'm going to simply comment this i'll keep this comment so you guys can refer okay so let's create an id for the nft which users try to create okay so first what we're going to do we'll take a variable and we'll call new id and we have this so we'll say so we have the nfts all the nfts and we'll try to get the nfts and first we have to find the length that how many nfts we have in that file okay and from there we have to access the id and we're going to plus one okay so it will give the last nft just imagine that we have data in the form of array and we're trying to access the last one and we are trying to find the id of the last one and then we're going to add one more new nft and we're going to assign this so we're going to use this object dot assign and assign what this object dot assign does so if you have an existing document and if you want to add data in that existing document so this function will help you to do that okay so object dot assign and in that we're going to pass this object so first thing we have to pass the id so the id is there which we have created okay and now we're going to add the data so request dot body in which we have all the data which user try to send okay so that's the simple logic we have here okay once we have the new nft now we're going to push this nft to our nfts okay so we'll pass the new nfts and this way we can easily able to add in the nft array okay in our file so that's working fine now we'll come here now we have to write a function which allow us to write okay so we can easily able to push but to have that in our database we have to write it okay so let's write that that's not complicated we can do it very easily so we'll say fs model we have to use because this time we have to write earlier we have used to read and this time we have to write so we'll say here we have write file and here we have to pass the directory of the file so we'll come here and the same directory in which we want to write simply copy this one and we're going to pass this one here okay simple and we're going to simply convert this we're going to convert the data because the data will come in the form of object and we have to convert into a string okay a string okay json and here we're going to pass the nfts nfts okay simple and we have to handle an error if anything goes wrong we have to catch that so error it's going to be an error function and here we have to send the response back okay so nft state is going to be 201 for create and we're going to send the response in the form of json state is going to be let's say success and we have to send the data back so whatever data user are providing we're going to send the exact data back to them so they can have a look at what they have provided okay so we'll send the nft okay so that's the nft okay new nft not you can call it nft or you can call it new so nfts and we'll pass the new nft so that's working fine this is how we can easily able to write this is all the response okay simply remove this because in one method you can easily send one type of response okay you can't send two responses so that's why you have to comment this one early one and that's our post request is ready let's come back to the postman and let's try to create nft so here we have make a request and here you can see we have successfully created our first nft but the id is not working somehow so we have it's successful id the name we have given the durations and the max group size okay okay we need to don't need to provide the id here because this will calculate it automatically okay so we need to remove the id and we have to hit the request and here we are getting this object object one let's come back to the data file in the sample data and you will find that whatever nft we have created you will find here sorry data we have created you find here so if you save here you can see if you save this it will also restart the application you can see the moment you will save you will see that our browser will reload so we have all these data let's scroll all the way down and you can see this is the data we have created first one is with id 0 then id object order 1 object order 2 okay so this is not what we wanted but so far it's looking fine and we can easily able to write into our local database okay it's a kind of local database okay it's working fine now let's simply remove this okay we don't want this one okay why okay remove this comma and now it's working fine 
so it's a uh, last one is id8 let's come back to the function so this is the post method and here is the problem okay so we have to provide the id okay so we are not providing a specific identifier that what object what we were targeting okay so we have to assign the id and now it will work fine and let's create one more time hit enter and here you can see we have created successfully and written the data let's change the name sam dollar and you can see sam and the id is 10 so the id function is also working fine if you come go back to the local database in json format and you can see scroll all the way down and here you will find id 9 id 10 so this one is working fine and we can easily able to write in our local database so that's how you can create the post method okay so i hope everything is clear that how you can do it so that's the only thing i want to cover about the post method we're going to make it more robust okay so first we have to build the simple simple function and we're going to take it to the next level okay in the next video we'll talk about that how you can get the single nft okay so let's move to that